Welcome back. I'm Loudon. And I'm Corey. And this is Yeah, yeah Let's, Let's Eat, Eat This. this. Corey and I are here today at the Pasty Kitchen, Los Alamitos, here for 56 years. It's one of the oldest restaurants here. It was brought to America by Cornish Indians, Cornish miners. Long considered the mill in a crust, this for sure keep you full all day. It's everything you want in a pot pie with no mess, no soupiness, and not eating something out of the freezer. Or even if you wanted to, you come buy a couple, you don't live close, store them in your freezer when you get home, put them in the oven at 400, boom, you're done. Beef is white, chicken is yellow. This beef gravy looks luscious. Look at it. Oh, it makes you think like home country style Man. cooking. It's got a, a nice body to it, a nice viscosity. I like dark gravy, honestly, yeah. over more things. Which one would you think would be better with the veggie pasty? That's the question. The dark brown gravy would be better with the veggie? It looks very rich, tons of color. Tons of color. You know you're gonna get at least two servings of vegetables if you eat this. And it's pretty hefty. Wholesome. When I look at it, it looks like there's like the tops of broccoli. Yeah, like broccoli it, florets. Yeah. Surprisingly, for being only vegetables, you get this weird like sense of that there is meat in here. Like, it's weird. You taste it. Like, you if you told someone, oh, it just there is meat in here, just mostly vegetable. They'll believe you. The flavor is all there. It feels like it. Yeah, yeah. It feels like there's meat in it. Potatoes and carrots and and like broccoli. But and they held their texture. It's yeah. Not mush. Yeah. It's not mush. Dude, the smells coming out. Oh, the chicken smells so good. Huge chunks of chicken. This is A1. Super moist. It has a real smooth flavor. So it's not a super strong. I want that chicken to just be the shine. You yeah. want that chicken to come out front and get that solo full yeah. setup. And another thing I've noticed is the texture of the chicken. It's not like all chunked up chicken breast. It's bouncy, it has some, some bounce back. It's so different from the vegetable, right? Totally different. It's not like, oh, we're just gonna use the same base and throw some veggies in there and say it's the veggie patty or the chicken patty. No, totally different patties all together. All right, let's move on to the last pasty we got. We got the beef. This has some heft to it. Nice. It smells like a stroganoff almost. But see, if you notice, they've cooked it to where there's no excess moisture. There's nothing coming out. It's nice and soft on the inside, perfectly crispy on the outside. I've been into it and there's this piece that was like cooked next to the dough mm -hmm. and it has that like, you know when you get carne asada that's been grilled on a flat top and it caramelizes? Right. Yeah. And it has that taste and it's so good. So those, those are the small ones. This 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 baby over here, this is the large. <laughs> this is like two and a half, right? Eating in one. That's hard to fathom, right? Eating all this. You're not breaking your bank buying here. Get great food, fill up. Have some later. Tiny fry. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. I can yeah, tell just, it's, it's crisp on the edges, yeah, like, but in the inside, you feel, you feel it's how it soft bends, in though. the middle. This is California during the earthquakes the past couple of days. <laughs> Cookies, fam. If you just look in the window behind you, like over the edge, there's cookie dough just like right there. Yeah, they're like, trapping fresh, out fresh the cookie dough. Here. I would pay you to just have like a quarter of the cookie dough and make it myself. This will make a very good big ice cream sandwich. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that. I was thinking it too. That's a three dollar idea. We gotta put a pint in it. I mean, half a pint. Apple turnover. Gushing greatness. Turps. This tastes like if your grandmother went in the kitchen and made you an apple pie in 1985. I spent all day doing it. Yeah. All day in the kitchen. It makes you want to be a kid. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they also have cherry and, and peach turnovers as well. Three different flavors, three different like turp levels. The savory turps in the in the meat and the chicken and the vegetables. Pasty kitchen, five out of five spoons. Thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah let's eat this. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode. How much food we have left? Right. What do you got?